Designing a logo with stable diffusion using automatic 1111 as web UI. To get started, we need to install a vector graphics plugin. Search for Stable Diffusion Web UI Vector Studio. You should be finding a GitHub link. I will be sharing the resources. Just refer the video's description. Copy the link from the code section and navigate to the extensions menu. Select the third option, Install from URL, and paste the address. Click Install to begin the installation process. The installation is in process as shown here. Please wait till this gets complete. It's completed. Let's verify installation and restart the web UI to complete the setup. You'll now see a new menu item called Vector Studio. However, we won't be using this feature directly. Instead, we'll access Vector Studio from the script section of the web UI. Click to open it and explore the various image styles available, including illustrations, logos, tattoos, anime, stickers, and more. Before we proceed, return to the Vector Studio web page and install the required dependency. Pot Ray software by clicking on the provided address. Please download the correct version for your operating system. Windows users, download the Windows version. Mac OS users, download the Mac OS version. Linux users, download from this link. In my case, I'll download the Windows 64-bit version. Once downloaded, unzip the file and open the folder. Locate the Potrachi executable file and copy it. Paste it to the extensions folder of the Stable Diffusion web UI. Specifically in the bin directory within the Vector Studio directory. Now that we've set up the Pot Ray software, we can use the Vector Studio plugin. Let's create a logo using this plugin. To start, I have a prompt which specifies the design parameters. Flat colors, white background, black and white logo, with a falcon's head as the main subject. I will share the prompt. Please check for description. In the negative prompt words field, I will insert two commonly used negative words separated by a comma. These general word vectors are often used for negative keywords. Let's generate a logo. We can leave the sampler set to its default value. Sampling methods Udera A. Increasing to 4 to generate multiple batch. In the Vector Studio settings, select Style to Logo. I'll uncheck this option. This will make the white parts of our drawn image transparent. The output format will be SVG Vector Graphics. After generating, you'll see that Stable Diffusion has produced the original image in PNG format and the vector image in SVG format. The vector image can be scaled infinitely without losing quality. To find this file, open the generation directory to find the original vector file. The extension is SVG. Let's refine the image using Image to Image section. Let's start by copying the prompt into the Image to Image section, including the negative prompt words. Second, we need to import an image for stable diffusion to mimic, and it will generate a new set of images. You can leave all parameters unchanged. Let's keep sampling method to Udera A. This for multiple batch of results. In the script section, choose Vector Studio again. Select the illustration option. Uncheck this for transparent areas with white. And then click Generate. The newly generated image has borrowed the style of the original image in its lines. Similarly, we can switch the base model and sampler to generate another set of images.
Since we chose the illustration style, the drawn image will be relatively more complex. Switching back to logo style. Hit generate. As I am not a professional logo designer, the one with skill writing a prompt can take advantage of this. However, there are also LoRa models specifically designed for logo generation in the community. For example, the Logo Redmond model. Open Civit AI and you can search for Logo Redmond to find it. Then, we can download and import it. I've already imported the Logo LoRa model, so let's add it to our workflow. Click the LoRa to select it. It has trigger words. Let's copy the two trigger words and make sure to use it correctly by comma separators. One done. Copy the second word. Hit generate. With the aid of the LoRa model, the logo images turn out quite well. The model has helped refine the design and produce a more professional looking logo. Let me know if this was helpful to anyone. Stay connected for more such content.